Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Don't forget, if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So I've really been debating on this for some time. I didn't want to do another series. People seem to like this series, and I really enjoy playing this game. Um, and finally, uh, I was watching Colonel Failure's channel, uh, which I watch him not all the time, but fairly often. Uh, but he likes a lot of the same games I do, so he plays Transport Fever 2 as well. And he's been doing a Japan series, and I liked a lot of the mods that he had. So what I went and did is, you could look up his mod set um, on Steam. So I went and looked up his mod set, and now I've got it. So we've got a pretty cool little map here. We are in Asia, because that's what the mod set is. Um, I did go with a temperate uh, environment because I don't know the tropical just didn't look right uh, I don't know why I think it's meant for the islands so it doesn't look right unless you're on islands um, but we definitely went with a lot more mountainous terrain this time as you guys can see uh, and I like all the I like the way this map came out this is a randomly generated one uh, but yeah it's got a lot of you know riverside towns so I think we've got two there's one in the mountains here. Do we have another one in the mountains? Maybe not. Everybody else is either right on the water or fairly close to it. Now, I think, based on positioning, we're going to want to use Ho Chi Minh City as our main city. Um, and it is the largest city on the map, I think. Let me look. There we go. Oh, no, it's not. It's the second largest city on the map. The largest one... Oh, it's the one where I want to start. I, this is the one I wanted to start at because it's got fields and uh, a food processing plant right together. So let's go ahead. Uh, oh, and one other difference is we are starting in 1900 this time because I want to, you know, we've done the, the 1800s quite a lot, or I've done the 1800s quite a lot, but that's what we did in the last series. And this time I want to get a little bit further into the future. So... Now, we're going to be uh, working on building up this area somewhere in Asia, uh, you know, in the years leading up to World War I. So let's go ahead and start, I think, by running... I think I want to run a railroad from here to here to Omsk. And let's see. Let's put the railroad... Let's go ahead and get this street here. No, I think I want this one. That's not right. Okay, let's... Can I just delete part of that? No, I guess not. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and extend this road out. And then we can go ahead and put this one back in now that we've got that. And we will put a train station here for Omsk. And that way it should be fairly, you know what, I'm, I wonder. You know what, no, let's not do that. Let's start by putting in docks. I want to put in docks, even though we may not be using them right away. But we've got so many waterways here, I think that's going to be a good way to go. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the train real close in fact, why don't we go down this road here? And we'll see here. We will put this somewhere right here. That looks good. And we'll go ahead and use a small road right here. And not put it quite so close. There we go. And now we can go ahead and extend this street all the way down here. I guess that's going to have to be good enough. All right. So now that we've got that in place, we can go ahead. I really want... Boy, I would really like to be able to... I guess what I'm going to need to do, I don't know, is there stuff down here we're going to want to bring in by train? I think there probably is. 
So I think what we're going to have to do... Oops, oops, nope. Let's go back to this. Let's extend this. Does this have tracks on it? No, it's just, just the road. We're going to go ahead and put our train station in here. Uh, buildings. We'll use a terminal station. Um, we don't have a lot of money to start off with, so let's... Uh, let's put in a double station for right now. How's that look? We'll put it right here. So it's in the catchment for the port. So anything we bring in here can get shipped to the port. Or shipped out via the port, I should say. And then we'll put in a, uh, a truck station over here. Truck station. Yeah, I think I want one of these. There, there are some really cool ones, but I don't know... Well, maybe we should go ahead and try one of the cool ones. Where are they? Oh. Ooh, maybe we don't have access to them yet. Okay. These these look interesting, but I'm not going to mess with them. Uh, the others the others must be require a newer date. So we'll go with this. We're going to go with 30 meters. We'll go with just one side. Oh, let's go ahead and extend this first. There. Come on. Put it in place. There. Okay, so that's in place. So we'll be able to run de deliveries up here to Omsk and we'll be able to ship out here. Now, if I can put, let's see, let's go ahead and put, let's actually, let's get rid of this road first. I'll redo it later. And we will go to country roads. Put that in there. This, uh, I think I'm also going to leave this a two station because I know eventually I'm going to want to add a second train coming into here. Road in a minute. That's good. All right, so we're gonna. Oops. We're gonna put in a section of road right here. There. And we'll put our train right here. Let's get this lined up neatly. That looks good. Now we'll get our tracks in. I'm not sure about these tracks look sort of cool, but I don't know. Should we use them? Now nah, let's stick with these. All right. So I don't want to go too much up into the hills. 
So I don't want to have to deal too much with with the uh, height changes. So let's make a bit of a curve there. A curve here. And then we'll make a curve here. Definitely going to reduce our maximum speed, but for now, anyways, our trains are going to be super fast anyways. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of all of this. And I realize, strictly speaking, the, it's not necessary to put these roads in, but nope. But it it just, I, I think it looks better. <laughs> looks better to have the roads there because there should be a road coming out here. I mean, how else are people going to get out here to go to work and stuff? They're not going to ride on the freight train. Okay. Cool. Not going to worry about height right now because that's going to eat up money we don't have a lot of. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to do this. Go ahead, and we're going to run a track off from here over to here. You know that... I don't know why I bother. It just does not work right if you put that in first. Okay, let's line this up neatly. And this looks like this is about where that track put it. And then we will go ahead and run that to there. And that one we'll hold off on for right now. Okay, let's go ahead and get this first thing set up. This is one thing I discovered about this, is you can set up feeding into these plants they will go ahead and accept the stuff even if they don't have a place to send it yet okay um i think this is west no is that north i think it is north i think That's north. Okay, that's good enough. That's north, and then that will be south. And we've got a, quite a selection because we're starting later. That's an odd looking thing. I think it's interesting they have all Russian locomotives. Hmm. I think we should probably go with the bigger one here. Shouldn't we? Yeah, let's go with the bigger one. At least for now. And let's see. That carries 12. That's okay. That's boxcar. Sorry. This is the gondola. This carries 12. And we've got 160. Oh, that's as much as we can get right now. Ooh, this sucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll take the last one off. Hopefully this can start making us some money, because we're going to need it. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Boy, we went through all of that fast. We're going to need a loan. Let's get two million. We're gonna need a lot more money than that when it comes time to Yeah, I should actually put three tracks on this to begin with, but or possibly four now, but that's fine, we can add those on later. That actually looks okay.
and let's go ahead and we'll come off from here and go actually you know what I think it should go this way okay So if we want to train the same size as this one, it's going to cost us a lot more money. And we can't afford that. When did I unpause the game? <laughs> I thought I had us paused. Alright, well, I'm not worried about it. Alright, let's see. Oh. I didn't think, I haven't taken up that much of a loan. I didn't realize we had a loan to begin with. Ooh, this is killer. Uh, how much money we've got? All right, well, we might as well top another million up and get another. Let's actually just go ahead and, no, I don't want to clone that. What am I thinking? But we'll go ahead and get something similar. I wonder if we can go ahead, get away with getting a smaller engine. Like this one here. We'll get this. And then we'll put five box cars on it. That's only three million. Oops, so we need to set up the route, don't we? There. There, oh, we still need to do the other route too. Uh, great. Uh, umps food service. Okay, I need to name these. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Umps food plant. Farms north. Oops. North. Okay. Now let's take a look here and see what we've got in this town. Okay, lots of food required all along here, and that's what we're going to be doing now. So let's get rid of that. So what I want, I want buildings. I want to, actually, you know what? Let's go with this. Yeah, these are sort of modern. Let's go with one that's more time appropriate. This looks like a pretty good setup here. Go right there. New line going from here to here. Uh, nope. Now I better make the city delivery. If I make it docks delivery, I'll think I'm delivering to the docks when I look at it. Okay, and we're going to need this. We will put it... Let's put it right down here. I think that'll be out of the way for now. I notice this looks different. Most of the models seem to be exactly the same no matter where you are. I mean, these sort of look just like the European houses. <laughs> they even have English names. Um, first truck. Ooh, 20 kilometer an hour diesel takes all cargo. Well, we'll take it. Okay. Cool, so we have a truck making deliveries there. Let's get this train going. Okay, the food service train is going. Let's speed this up. Okay, consumers. Okay, we are shipping to Omsk. 
And you, I think, after your first run, we need to set this to wait for a full load. Cool. All right, so we got food set up going to there. For a while, it's going to be just producing enough food for this place. Um, so right now, we're only producing 200 here. I think these farms only go up to 200. Uh, looks like we're, we're shipping all of it. We're not necessarily transporting all of it. Um... Here, our max is only 100. When this actually ticks up, I think, to uh, 200, we'll probably have enough. We might be able to actually go ahead and put in shipment going to somewhere else. Like, maybe over here to Manila. Just put in a dock and delivery into town. And uh, put in a ship going in between. And that, it, it, we might do that earlier. It might be what we need to drive up production enough. All right, let's let this run for a little while. Okay, a couple things. One, uh, I don't think one truck is really going to cut it here. <laughs> That's filled up real quick. Let's get some more trucks. Uh, this one. We'll put a total of four trucks on there. The other thing I hadn't ever noticed before, I don't know if that's just something with this, but you can actually see in the doors and see the stuff loading up inside. I've never noticed that before. So I'm not sure if that's just because of these cars. I'm not sure if these are mod or if they're original. Hmm. I have a feeling they're mod. All right. We're, we're making some decent money, but this... Omsk only requires 40 food at the moment, so that's not enough to uh, drive up the production. So I think what we'll go ahead and do, we've got some cash. Let's go ahead and pull this street. Let's make it straight. Pull this street down here. Well, that's the way it seems to want to go, but it does not look straight to me. Oh, now it looks straight. Okay, well, there we go. We'll go ahead and put a dock right here at the end. Let's see. I want this sitting out enough. Yes, I forgot my Discord again. Let's put it right there. And we will run that to there. Run this. That looks right. And we'll get this one and we'll do exactly the same thing we did the other side. Oh, goodness. I think that looks uneven because of the slope. Go ahead and leave that, and we'll look up here. Okay, so... Looks like all our food is right down in this corner. So what is going to be a good place to put this? It's coming straight up this road. I think... Let's put it right there. And we're going to need a depot, which I'm going to put over here. Okay, Manila City Deliveries, we will put a truck on that, we can add more trucks later. And now let's go ahead and we'll 
give ourselves a shipping lane between them. So, Omsk, Manila, Barge. Now we just need a depot for the ships, and we're good to go. Um, I'm going to put one down here for now. Later on, we're going to want a depot in a more central location, or maybe just put a second one over on the other side. If we do as I'm, exp as I'm hoping to do and have shipping going down all over the place here. I don't know, with these three, probably just do it all with trains. All right. That's gas and oil. That's gas and oil. Looks like we just got the riverboat. What do you mean, unable to find a path? How can you not find a path between two water ports? Did I do something wrong here? Why would it be unable to find a path? The path is found fallible only small ships are oh Okay, we can fix this real quick. Uh, let's slow this down. Okay. I can't believe I did that. I did small. We got the money, we should be okay here. So we'll replace this with a large dock. And we'll come here. Put a large dock here too. Okay. Now we can go ahead and set that up. Didn't even dawn on me that that was a large ship. Guess I should have realized it. Okay. These guys are taking care of their job. And production is going up. Yep, now we're producing for Manila too. Super, so hopefully we're transporting plenty now. Transporting 83% of uh, our shipment, and uh, the number we're shipping is going up steadily. Yeah, I, that's going to break 80 very soon. So this should then jump up to 200, which will max out what we can get out of this. So next time we should be able to go ahead and run a station, a line over here, put a station in here, and... Um, then we can put a station in somewhere for the town, too. Or maybe just use that station. I suppose we could do that and just have a split train running half. It could be running food one direction and grain the other. That might work, because it would be just 15 cars. I think this can handle 15 cars with no problem. Seems to be doing fine with uh, the 10 cars. But I think that's going to be it for today. That's uh, pretty much all our time. So, hope you guys enjoyed uh, returning to Transport Fever 2. If you did, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we will see you next time. Have a great day.
course, I've been getting a little sun. And I'm silent forever. Keep making me get naked and start over again. It's good for you. You know, it builds character.